What's cracking, celiacs? Happy Monday to you all, and uh, just so you know, I'm still rocking no cuts, no editing, anything like that, because uh, while my MacBook Pro is going way too slow, all these videos and everything, and then I took it into tech support, they ended up trying to rearrange some files, and now there's some corrupt files on here that I'm trying to find. So, still going to be a little bit of time with that, but I just kind of wanted to go over uh, what I'm really eating right now, because I'm insanely busy with classes. Uh, by the way, just registered for my classes next semester. Only have to actually take nine credits to graduate, so I'll have one more class on top of it just to be a full-time student. So I am pumped. Um, I thought I was going to have to take like 17, but they ended up dropping it a little bit. So yeah, very cool. But anyway, um, I picked up some new goodies here. I went to the Festival Foods. Normally I go to the one in Eau Claire, uh, but this one I went to Lacrosse. Uh, it's only 20 minutes east of here in Wisconsin. Um, so uh, right now I'm in Winona, by the way. But, so I picked up some new stuff. Right here I have the Bakery on Main Fiber Power, the granola. Um, now, Audra Dorsey, I think that she, um, she had told me about the Bakery on Main. I think that this is the right stuff. But I tried a little bit of this, and this is awesome. So this is great for fiber. Um, right here we have 9 grams dietary fiber and 3 grams soluble fiber. Um, so that's good stuff. And it's, you know, whole grain, gluten-free oats, uh, honey, rice syrup, um... Let's see, flax meal, water, lemon juice, natural flavor, sesame seed, berry blend, uh, sea salt. So it's all good, um, but if you are allergic to tree nuts or peanuts, not so much. Um, and yeah, so definitely good with this. Glutino bars, the chocolate and banana bars, if you saw that other one with the layer bar episode, um, I did talk about these and the Glutino cookies. So um, those are definitely good. And then also, these Glutino uh, little chocolate sh <laughs> chocolate covered pretzels, um, I want to try these out in front of you guys. So. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I would definitely recommend these to people. One thing I gotta say though is I could use something to drink right now because you know how gluten-free foods can be so dry sometimes. So while I'm chewing this one up, I'm gonna go with this. The, uh, let's see, healthy snacks, bare fruit. Uh, this is just the Granny Smith apple chips. Normally I'm not a huge dried fruit fruit fan, but uh. I'm gonna try or try talking me into trying this and uh, nah, it's just dried food. Not fruit, I mean, it's bland. I don't really like it, but other of you, you know, I'm sure a lot of you health freaks out there really like this stuff, but not really my style. I'd rather eat something else. So I would say, uh, definitely with this fiber power stuff, since it's so hard to get fiber in your diet, being gluten free, I would say that this is something that's great to be eating. Um, and by the way, the nine grams of fiber and the, you know, three grams of soluble fiber, that's only in a half a cup. So there's six servings in this. So, I mean, that's insane. That's really good. So if you're having trouble getting your fiber, I would say, I mean, granola like this or, uh, beans are really good, you know, things like that are definitely good for fiber. So, um, and then obviously the apple chips, let's see. Um, actually this is really weak. Um, only one gram of, fiber, gram of fiber per serving in here, so, uh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't really recommend these for that, but I would say definitely the granola. So, guys, that's really all, everything I have for you, uh, this, or, well, today, so, um, yeah, everyone have a good one, and, uh, I'll see you probably later this week, then.